So let's say, so let's say we've got a client, right, who, who actually chooses to, to actually come in and sit down across from you, right? And we begin engaging, like, in this process that we know works, we know changes neuronal pathways. You know, how, what, how much responsibility is there for a change, let's say, on the counselor or on, on the client? Where does that fix, quote unquote, come from? Yeah, yeah. Uh, great question, Ryan. So I, we're both counselors. Uh, contrary maybe to popular belief, we're both terminally human, meaning we're flawed. We got our own issues. We've worked through our own stuff. Uh, we're not that different as it turns out from the clients that we have served over the years. And so, so I, I say that to first just say uh, clients shouldn't feel embarrassed about sharing their struggles with the counselor. The counselor's probably experienced it personally or heard it before. I feel like at this point, I don't know that you, I've heard just about everything there is to hear. Yeah, but in fact, you know, you know, a, a lot of counselors actually go into counseling because they've had their own stuff and they were helped by a counselor. So they went through counseling themselves and they just want to help people the same way. So it was their own counseling for their own stuff that led them sitting across from the client. Yeah, yeah. and that's definitely true in my case. What, what has also been true in my case is the counselors I have gone to have put the responsibility on me uh, to do the changing, right? So uh, counselors have not fixed me, but they have walked alongside me to help me fix myself. And that's really the answer to the question you asked. Uh, counselors, it's not a counselor's role to change a client, but to facilitate change in a client by empowering the client and equ equipping the client with the, the skills or, or means of coping or insight that, that would allow the client, uh, in a sense, to, to change themselves uh, so to speak. So I think I yeah. think some people walking into a counselor's office are going, all right, here's the problem, now you fix it. And counselors are like, hey, not so fast. Uh, I'll equip you to fix it, uh, but I can't fix, I can't fix or change you. Yeah, and, and I've seen that before, even with the kids, you know, a lot of my clinical background is the adolescents. Um, I've, I've had parents come in before and almost like throw their kid at me and say, I just need you to fix my kid. <laughs> so, but, but you're right, it is, it is this collaborative kind of journey together between the counselor and the client and, and, you know, Trent, as, as that process, as that collaborative process is occurring, where the, the counselor is facilitating change, but there is skin in the game for, for the client to be creating and manifesting change in themselves as well. You know, what, what, should, what should people be expecting? I mean, should they, I'm going to be in counseling for a year. I'm going to be in counseling for, for just three sessions. I mean, what have you seen in terms of the length of time to create that type of change in a client? Yeah. Yeah, when clients come to a counselor's office, and, and you know this too, right, they're, they're usually in pain and they're really ready for some pain relief, like I'm ready for some change now. Uh, counseling is, isn't a quick fix. Yeah. Um, it, it, and we live in the age of a quick fix, right? I can remember dialing on to AOL for the first time. Yep. And it was like 20 minutes to get online. And it was the coolest 20 minutes of my <laughs> um, adolescence. Right. So I, I, it was awesome. Now, if I can't pull up a website in less than five seconds, we have a problem. I'm super frustrated. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, fast food, uh, DoorDash delivery, like everything's at the uh, tip of our fingers, literally. So I think we're conditioned to expect things to happen quickly and, and counseling doesn't happen quickly. I think as a rule, it takes a handful of sessions or more, probably 10 to 15 uh, for clients to feel like I'm over the hump or, or the edge has been taken off the pain that I feel or I'm handling this situation a little bit better. So to me, probably 10 to 15 sessions feels maybe like uh, uh, the beginning of an adequate amount of, of time to help a client change. And, and there are some issues that do take a lot longer. Um, I, I, I've worked with clients for years, plural, on shaping parts of their personality or really working through deep trauma or maintaining recovery over a long period of time. It's not, it's not a quick fix, but for clients who, who put some skin in the game and really get invested in their own health, if they're, if they're willing to trust the process to do the work, uh, Ryan, the, 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 the work will get done. It will take a little bit of time, uh, but the time invested will be time well spent. Yeah, and, and you know, 
Trent, to take us back to that, one of the very first statements that you made, it really is about the right counselor at the right time. And I think, you know, what we would say to people is, if now is the right time for you, start looking for that right counselor. And that may take, and we, we talked about this in another, you know, another kind of reporting, where it may take a couple tries to find that right counselor. But just understand that's normal. Find the right person for you. Find the right person who feels safe and feels like someone that you can confide in in sessions and just choose to commit to the process. If, if that is something you're interested in, Dr. Langhofer and his interns are actually offering mental health services through uh, the, the CCU Counseling Center in Colorado Springs, especially if you live in Colorado. Uh, but at the same time, if you're interested in being that person, if you're interested in being that person who's partnering with others, who's hearing other people's stories, who's choosing to sit with them, I also recommend you check out the Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling program at CCU. Um, we have a solid program and it's all about producing people who are willing to sit across from others and hear their stories and be a part of their journey. Dr. Langhofer, thank you so much as we kind of continue this conversation about what mental health is, what counseling is, and the benefits of it. Till next time, brother. Thanks, Ryan.